even if I look gorgeous. Like, it's just not gonna happen. It's the arse for me. I saw it and I was like, I need to other top <gasps> Yeah, very nice shape. Oh, bloody hell, they're a bit tight. About to do a science experiment. Hi, everyone. <laughs> Oh, what am I about to do? If you're new here, hello, welcome. My name is Sasha. Please subscribe, please stick around. We're about to have some fun or like you're gonna have fun. This isn't my idea of fun. Basically today I am going to be doing a huge, the biggest try on haul that I have ever done before. If you follow me over on Instagram, you will know that my track record of trying on clothes is just, like it's just awful. I don't know what happens. I pick the wrong things, nothing ever fits which in turn probably means that I'm picking the wrong sizes. And it's just an all round disaster. I think of all of the things that I've purchased over the last year, I've probably kept about three. I'm sweating. Today is a little bit different because I have actually worked with the incredible Abby Russell, who is a stylist. She reached out and she was like, I really want to help you because I can see what you're doing and it's just not working so let me pick stuff for you which is really fun and she gave me access to a Pinterest board that she created and every single thing that I clicked on I then purchased. I have literally put this entire thing on a credit card do not for one second think that I am going to be able to afford to keep all of this even if I look gorgeous like it's just not going to happen. We're going to try things on we're going to see how this goes at the moment I'm probably a size six probably anywhere between a size 14 and 18 if I'm being honest. UK clothes sizes are an absolute nightmare so it could be any of those three sizes, we will see. I'm really nervous, I don't do fashion, like fashion isn't my kind of thing, I'm not mad into it, I just wear for comfort. But as my body changes and as I'm learning to love the skin that I'm in, no matter what my size is, I'm realising that I can't just cover it up all the time. And I often find myself in really uncomfortable situations when the weather gets hotter and I have nothing to wear. Or, yeah, I'm just not very good with clothes. So this is really exciting for me. I'm nervous to see what all the clothes are going to be like because a lot of the stuff, they are things that I would never have picked out. Leave me a comment down below if you enjoy it and I really hope you enjoy video. Abby is the wonderful stylist who has picked all of the clothes that we're going to be trying on today. <laughs> I'm excited. I'm nervous. <laughs> right, what should we start with? Um, well, I've got uh, a big caramel. Okay. I've not even had a peek. Do you reckon I can just be in my underwear for this video? I mean, this doesn't look very good, does it? Yeah, alright. Okay, so first up we have this cross body multi-way slinky body let's do just for, for ease just do it in like a tie halter neck right so i've crossed it over my back yeah and then you can yeah like do a little tie and then you can either tie it in the front or the back maybe the back actually so cross it in the front yeah and that's it yeah take it to the back okay Next up, these white trousers. These are very fancy. These are yeah. size 20. And you can just see that from their caramel and cross screens, like the sizes are quite small. Sizes are very small. It's the arse for me. It's like, it, will f it would fit if I was sewn into them. So the trousers are a no from me, but what do I know? What do you think? Yeah, I agree. I don't, yeah, that seam on the front's a bit like, it's very there. I feel like um, the girls from ABBA. Next up, we have this dress with like a halter neck thing. It feels like nice material. With what though? Like, it feels a bit frumpy. Like hair back, either like pony or like a low bun. Oh, okay. With like yes. Bun. That makes like, it less frumpy. Yeah, it's cute. I don't like it. Should I try these next? two tops with my jeans on. See, with a bit of steam in on that top, I really like that top. I don't dislike it. It's very crazy for me. Very cute. Yeah, I really like I feel that. a little bit like Nancy from Oliver, but she's my favorite character, so that's okay. I do anything. I'm gonna send you a link for a really small, like, little handheld steamer. Oh, fucking hell. Should we just say in advance that this isn't the one? This feels like very met mum friends and they've gone out for their first drink. <laughs> oh, 
this feels fancy. This is the dress. It's very love the colour a lot. How's it looking out? Is it good? Oh my god. I like okay. this. I am obsessed with this, and this is something that I would never have picked out. I saw it and I was like, I need to see this on you. I'm 100% keeping this. How much is it? Like, it's quite pricey, their stuff, isn't it? But I was saying, so like. That wasn't a pricey, I believe that was £99. Yes, this one is £99, but do you know what? I look bloody gorgeous, so we'll find yeah. a way. So that's the thing. Linen, high waisted. Oh my god, these do not look a bit of me. I mean, one thing's for sure, Abercrombie fit me nice. Oh, look at that waist. I still get camel toe all the time though, like, what is that? I don't really like these. Okay, well, where's the top? There's a top that matches. Is there? It's mad how many years I've gone, like, not even wanting to get my arms out. And now they're, like, the biggest they've ever been and I just don't even care. These have got a whoop. I like this. Okay, I think what we've established with Abercrombie size is that I'm probably a large on top. On top, yeah. Especially if it's got that bit. Where is the other top of No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's fine. Oh, yeah. It's just a bit big, but I really like it. And the nice, like, white wedge that you've got with this. This top's really pretty. Really cute on this. Yeah, love that. And it's all, we're, top, we're wanting breathable fabrics, we want to be comfy. My tan looks banging. The issue is with Zara is one, don't really fit me, so I don't know why I keep ordering from them, and two, it's really short. Yeah, Pro so I, I don't order from Zara online, I'll only do it if I'm in the store, because you just can't tell what size in. I feel like that's going to be too tight as well. I feel like it's not going to go up. Big shout out to Next because they have sent these, well they've gifted these um, items. I feel like they've sent more than what we ordered so we will see. But yeah, okay. thank you Next. Thank you Next. Right, this print is absolutely not a bit of me but we'll try it on. I feel like David will be like, oh you look nice dear, let's go and get our buffet. Should I hold the beach bag up? Oh my god! <laughs> I'm here for the shh. I'm not here for it. I've gone into a fucking trance though with this pattern. <laughs> I feel like I look like a parcel that's been packaged up. Like, yeah, this colour is a bit of me for sure. Whoa! I look like a doff racky. This isn't a vibe for me. Okay. okay. Oh yeah. Okay. That is so nice, isn't it? This looks good. Yeah, very nice shape. Yeah. Ooh, look at that. Do you know one thing I've loved about putting on weight? Having boobs. Oh, yeah. What fun. I like. Yeah, that's cute. Yeah. I've never worn anything one shoulder before like this. Ah, oh, I hate this. Not yet. I feel like I look a snake. So what harm is adding a couple of bits? What in God's name was I thinking? I, I, don't, I don't even like the print that's going on here. How are you meant to wear a headscarf? You just said you think I'd suit it. Can you see this? And then like put it on top with the hair and that. Well, that is a trend that is not for me. I mean, to be fair to you, this is the only thing that's fit me properly so far. But okay, so I was thinking the white top from Karen so I think that you would not be able to pay me 10 grand to leave the house wearing these trousers. New look was some dresses, a dress and some wedges. Cute. Cute, I like this. I mean, you really suit red. Red's like a definite colour for you. Yeah, my mum always says that. Oh, it's nice to have a sit down. <laughs> Cute. Temperature is telling me it's too hot to try jeans on. I think. Everything can not be to try jeans 
I'm thinking I would need to be sedated before putting these over my ass in this heat. Some towel shorts and a towel. Oh, bloody hell, they're a bit tight. Oh, this is really, feels nice though. Oh well, these are like blue linen. I think they're actually the lemon yellow trousers, but then I saw them in blue, so just got them. Not gonna happen that. You told me about a hat, but it was too expensive, so I found another hat. I like it though. Yeah? Yeah, I'm feeling it. Some blue linen shorts. It's just, look, where it's quite big around oh, there. What is it? Is it just a shirt dress? Is oh, this is where I come alive, Abby. <laughs> oh, lovely. What do you do with this stuff though? Oh, it's like that, look. Tie it around the back and then bring it to the front. But like, see that that silhouette that's really nice there. Like, to the back, right? Yeah. It it I can't say New York on it because I hate stuff that says New York on it. Oh. Um, why does everything say New York on it? Oh, look! This outfit is so cool. Is that not a cool outfit? I mean. Oh, I can't. That's your science experiment. Abby, tell everybody where they can find your amazing services. Um, so my Instagram is at Curvy Living, and um, I'm hopefully by the end of the year going to have everything launched when it comes to what I'm going to offer in terms of like personal styling. I'm going to have lots of kind of different packages available for styling. If you follow me already, you'll know that I'm very like anti diet culture. So, you know, when you come to me, it's going to be like a safe space and there's no like triggering words or I'm not going to do anything that's going to make you feel like bad about yourself. I'm all about making you feel more confident in your body as you are now. Everything will be launched by the end of the year officially, but if you are like in desperate need of a bit of help, uh, whether that's just like one event coming up that you might need help with, slide into my DMs mm -hmm. and I can see if I can help you out. Thank you so much for helping me. Honestly, there's things that like I would never have picked out for myself. I wouldn't have even gone on Karen Millen, Abercrombie. Yeah. And like I feel like you have shown me the way for finding or like investing in more like higher quality pieces. Definitely. I just feel like for me I'm shopping way more online than going in person. And a big big thing is knowing your measurements, so knowing your chest, your waist, your hips because each store varies so much. I never know which stores which like okay I'm at, I'm at 16 and I'm at 18 um so then you use their size guide and then you can just check using your measurements what is going to be best for you because it literally varies so much that is the video done um if you could see the state of this room oh my god it is an absolute tip in fact I'm gonna just pull this down for you to see this is what we're dealing with but I just want to say like i really hope you enjoyed it i hope that it gives some sort of inspiration to how you can dress <laughs> if you have a similar body shape to mine i don't know um but i really enjoyed it and i really enjoyed finding like items of clothing from shops that i would never have dreamed of even looking at before so a huge thank you to abby she's incredible at her job it was actually a really fun process to go through like a pinterest board where someone else has picked out outfits for you and as you saw from the video, everything she picked looked amazing. Everything that I picked didn't even fit. So um, I highly, highly recommend booking in a session with her if it's something that you're after or looking for help with. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you soon.